Good Monday morning, fans of Privateer FX. S&P's made the new high. As promised, we killed uh, through the highs on Friday. Our beautiful NASI position also killed 74.68. What can you say? Carried those core shorts, well, S&Ps, well, over a week. No dice. Now we move on. Let's take a look at this euro, printed a high of 53. And if you look at the cursor here, the dotted line here, we really see this as, as the top of the range, the bottom of the range being 113, and we're going to get some middling moves here between sort of 1 116, sort of 60 to 80 on the top side, 113 the downside, obviously not in play today. Uh, we had some reach highs in, in Euro 53, we had some reach highs in Euro Yen. Traded up to uh, 68. Cable went up to 65. Um, Aussie went up to 43. Let's take cable out of the equation right now because that's uh, a horse of its own. But we're getting to the range highs in, in Aussie as well. We do think this is a sell. Uh, 73.23 is not the range highs. It's more close to the middle. 72 the low, we'll call it 74 the high. High 73s were sellers in Aussie. We're going back to the well, short Aussie. It's been good to us uh, for really over a month now. Um, selling high ones is paid, obviously on the 115 day, selling low ones paid, but in general we're selling high ones in Aussie. Euro also We'll be looking to sell high ones. I have a feeling we're not going to see those high ones. This looks like a classic to me where we print the high of the, of the week at the open and then we play around uh, lower all week. You saw this happen with Dollar Turkey up at 724 at the open uh, and then played around there in Asia and then came back to its senses or came back into the range for the week this first bar up here um, you know it seems a bit silly so why is it why is it up there Powell wasn't that uh, dovish he was just as expected so let's keep an eye on that uh, what else is out there cable oh yeah we gotta watch this trend line now in cable this is the daily line and it just kind of encompasses this down move from May. It's not beautiful yet, because it really only touches twice. This is kind of in the range, and we're even ignoring this high here. So some people would redraw this. And with this technical analysis, my main theme is, what's, what line is everybody going to draw? I don't really care... Um, about the pros and cons of, you know, is everyone looking at Fibonacci? Then we need to be looking at Fibonacci. Is everybody looking? One of the reasons I draw simple trend lines is because this is the line, these are lines that I know everybody's going to be drawing. So if you look at both of these lines, this, we'll look at this second line first from the high. Uh, again, it's not beautiful. And this, of course, would be a redraw because this through this has already been pierced uh, some sort of trend line break or trend line resistance is going to be happening here in cable this week let's take this high here see what happens seems a more natural to me but just because it's natural to me you have to say which which is the line everybody's going to be drawing. 
a lot of ways you can do this. You can look through the research, see what are the, all the technical analysts and all the banks are drawing. You can even go on to TradingView and, and see how many uh, technical analysts are drawing these lines. Uh, there's all kinds of ways on social media and Twitter. You can just type in cable daily trend line or, or GBP USD daily trend line and, and see which which line guys are drawing and whichever one they're drawing. Um, this becomes an interesting trade for us uh, because it's our natural. We have a natural proclivity for break trading these lines. We will wait for it to break through on the top side. Those of you who are bearish cable, and I totally understand why you would be bearish cable. UK is fucked. Um, you would want to sell near or close to this trend line with a stop loss above. So pick your poison there. Try and figure it out on your own. Uh, we're going to go with this secondary line for now, but we're going to do some further research. I may chuck some stuff up on Twitter, see what I find. Uh, Dollar Rand, uh, reliably unreliable as we put uh, on Friday. You know, you, you kind of, we're still buying through 45, let's, we really like that. Um, again, we like buying high ones uh, with tight risk parameters. But buying low ones also, you have to kind of figure out where your low one's going to be. Now, price is below 13, probably going to yield the figure. Um, if you're going to buy low ones today, maybe 05.95 uh, with very very strong support not until 60 so this is quite it's quite tricky this on the downside um, obviously you know we're not happy about this sort of land farm appropriation uh, movement in uh, South Africa as this grows in strength and as more people start following this story uh, we do think South the you know South African Rand is, is going to get smashed we will uh, refrain from the politics of this our job is just to make money uh, off currency movements but this will not be taken well if they follow through with this uh, on the currency side so and also, you know, we do think continued emerging market problems are likely to happen moving into the fall. So European kids are going back to school today, at least Swiss kids are, and American kids and UK kids and everyone's pretty much going back to school in the next 10 days or so. So when the markets will resume, uh, normal liquidity, and we're betting the first big trade is going to be uh, risk off and sort of the second inning of this emerging markets uh, move. So if you think this is the first inning, the move up to sort of 15. Now we're consolidating here. We're expecting another move back towards 15. Make new highs in dollar and through 1770. Uh, this fall. So just to give you a bit of a bigger picture. But within that big picture, the little picture is, you know, try and figure out a good way to be short ZAR on a daily basis. Grab some cash along the way. Our remit is not to catch 114 to 117. Our remit here at uh, Privateer is to consistently make money every week and be square a lot of the time. So I'm certainly not afraid to buy dollars are 10 times on the way up to 18. Anyway, uh, that's enough for today. We'll be watching this dollars are on low ones, being very careful uh, buying low ones. We will be buying high ones up through 45. Uh, selling high ones in Euro and Aussie and watching that cable trend line. So it looks like it's going to be very quiet for us at the open today. We're just keeping our eyes on these levels and these themes and starting a new week. 
Good luck out there, people. Talk to you later. Ciao.